Welcome back to the Metropole Sports Center, the first of its kind on Primetime TV, where we all, sorry, we are talking about money and sports. We're always talking about sports and money. Depends on how you want to look at it. And it's good I've talked about money and sports because my guest today is a gentleman by the name Patrick Correa. He's the new CEO of Nairobi City Stars. Uh, and we'll be asking him a few tough questions. I hope he has some good answers for those tough questions. Patrick, Karibu <laughs> Metropole Sports Center. Thank you. It's funny, when I was looking at the photo of whoever I'm going to be interviewing today, and I'm like, this guy, I saw him, you know, in the rugby circles, and then now I'm seeing... <laughs> See, I mean, that's what I was saying. Yes. I'm like, hey, I came for a rugby interview, football interview. He came for a football interview. Let's get right into it. You've been appointed new CEO of Nairobi City Stars. Congratulations for that. Thank you. Uh, it, Nairobi City Stars has just changed ownership, and yes. it's now owned by the Jonathan Jackson Foundation. True Tell much. us a bit, I mean, a little, a little more about the jo Jonathan Jackson Foundation. Well, this is a foundation that um, has quite a number of pillars. Mm -hmm. uh, advocacy is one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, community and community mm -hmm. development mm -hmm. is another one, and then sports mm -hmm. is another uh, pillar. Mm -hmm. So there, there are actually five pillars, mm -hmm. and then um, of course capacity building mm -hmm. is is another one. Mm -hmm. But now City Stars now falls under the sports, sports pillar. Yes. And the sports pillar also has basketball. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be thinking about doing volleyball yeah. as part of what falls under that pillar. Yes. So City Stars falls right there mm -hmm. as one of the sports mm -hmm. that the foundation will be running. Mm -hmm. So all the programs really are to do the community. Yes. And if you actually look at the buy-in into Nairobi City Stars, mm -hmm. it's because the club is is in a hub, a community mm -hmm. hub, mm -hmm. that's Kawangware. Yes. That's where the club used to play. Yes. It had moved away from there because of a lot of issues. Yeah. But now it's moving back right there. Uh -huh. So the players within the club, uh -huh. Nairobi City Stars, will now be used as ambassadors uh -huh. of the foundation uh -huh. to carry out the programs yes. uh, in, 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 in the community. In the community, that's yeah. Kawangware. No. Not just Kawangware, by yes. the way. Yes. It will begin from there, okay. but then it will spread across to other communities. Okay, fair so enough. So expect that in years to come, we yeah. seeing programs in Kibera, yes. Eastlands, yes. as long as this com community It's community-based. Yeah. Fair enough. That's some very good work they're doing there. Now, in the press release um, that uh, was released, <laughs> <laughs> uh, they stated that the problem... Of course, Nairobi City Stars plays in the National Super League. Yes. And they said that the problem that uh, Nairobi City Stars was facing was resources, number one, and number two, uh, leadership. Yes. Uh, and that's, I guess, why they've appointed you as CEO. Yeah. Um, now, I, there's a very big leadership problem when it comes to sports mm -hmm. in Kenya. Uh, we were just having a discussion off air about mm -hmm. uh, other entities. But there's a very big leadership problem when it comes to sports. Yeah. Um, I remember attending a sports law conference uh, about two months ago. And one of the people there who was actually there, uh, he's a lawyer dealing with FKF, mm -hmm. was saying that the problem with the leadership in sports in Kenya is because you have people there who are very self-centered. They're there not thinking about the sport. They're just looking for an avenue to make money. Now... They have said, or the Jonathan Jackson Foundation have said that leadership was a problem, and because of that, they've appointed you as the CEO of Nairobi City Stars. What do you think entails the leadership when it comes to the running of a sports organization? Because we see it happening very well in the yeah. Western countries. What yeah. do you think is, 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 is required when it comes to, to Kenya? In a nutshell, mm -hmm. professionalism. Thank you. Mm -hmm. that's, that's where it has to begin. Mm -hmm. Now, talking about leadership and clubs and sports in Kenya, mm -hmm is that what happens, if you look at sports, mm -hmm. is that you find that a lot of people who are running clubs, mm -hmm. be it rugby, be it football, mm -hmm. be it whatever other entity, mm -hmm. is that there's nothing else that they do. Yes. That is all that they do. Mm -hmm. Now you find that those sports don't even pay them. Mm -hmm. So what do they do? The little that comes for the club, mm -hmm. They, they need to survive. Yeah. I mean, you left a wife and kids at home. Yes. They expect you to go back home with bread and milk. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Mm -hmm. So the little that comes into the sport, mm -hmm. you have to scoop it and because mm -hmm. you have to survive. Mm -hmm. That's what happens. So I'm not saying that the people who should be in the sports mm -hmm. must be working elsewhere. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not saying that. Mm -hmm. If it were professional enough, then it means that sport should be able to attract money mm -hmm. in terms of sponsorship mm -hmm. or any other means. Mm -hmm. 
uh, to be able to pay the people who run it mm -hmm. so that they can run it professionally. Yeah. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Yeah. If you look at our sports as a whole, is that you find that a lot of corporates shun away from the sport. Mm -hmm. Football, for example. Mm -hmm. For years, there's been a lot of wrangles. Mm -hmm. A lot. Mm -hmm. uh, 2015, for example, there was a fight which league was the Premier League. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. the people were in office then yes. went and formed another fake Premier League yes. so that they could get sponsors to eat, yes. trying to pull Super Sport from the Kenyan from Premier Kenya League Premier, yes. into another fake Premier League that mm -hmm. they'd set called the FKF Premier League. Yes. When such things happen, yeah. if I'm a corporate and I have money, I'm never going to put money in that game mm -hmm. because there's too much wrangling mm -hmm. and it's all because of money. So they shun away, they don't see value in it. Yeah. So sports gets run in a in a very Kenyaji way, so to speak, yes. and that's what happens. Yes. So coming to City Stars, is that other than the community outlook mm -hmm. and outreach, is that leadership, the club was being owned by an individual, mm -hmm. and there's so much that this guy could do. Yes. Uh, Peter Jabuya. Yes. And I think I have to take this opportunity to say he did an excellent job. Yes. In keeping that club afloat. Mm -hmm. I think from 2011, City Stars has always been fighting relegation. Yes. They got relegated in 2014, but because of those wrangles that I just talked about in 2015, mm -hmm. they got reinstated yes. in the main league mm -hmm. because the teams that should have been promoted from the fake league mm -hmm. went to the other league. Mm -hmm. So they remained, survived in 2015, mm -hmm. but eventually got relegated in 2016. Mm -hmm. It is expensive running a club. Yes, it is. You've got about 30 players, mm -hmm. just assuming you're paying each of them 20,000. Yeah. That's already 600,000. 600, okay. You've yeah. got coaches. Yes. You'll have about probably four or five, mm -hmm. assuming you pay them 30,000. Well, wow, that's now 150. Now you've got home games. Yes. For every home game you have is about 40,000. Yes. Players need to travel there. Mm -hmm. You need to pay for their transport. Mm -hmm. They need to eat lunch. Yes. You need to pay for the match venue if it's a home game. Mm -hmm. That's just about 10,000. Yeah. In the Premier League, it's 20,000. Yeah. You need to buy water. Uh -huh. uh, you need to buy energizers, yes. rehydrators. Yes. If you're going for an away game, we're yeah. talking about 200K. Yeah. You're playing in a league that has 38 games. Yeah. So 19 away games and 19 by 200K. That's a uh, And 19 what? of them nice. by about... 40,000, 50,000. That's 380K. It is not expensive. It's not, it's not it's, cheap. It, it's expensive. Yes. So you need to about about 2 million. Yeah. Uh, you need to have about 2 million mm. a month yeah. for you to successfully. Now you're an individual. Yes. Are you going to build your house or are you going to run a club? Yes. I mean, really. So you can only do the much mm -hmm. that you can do. Yeah. So when it comes to leadership, of course, for you to have good leadership, you need to have resources. Mm -hmm. You need to pay someone to do the job for you professionally. Mm, yes. And what does professionalism entail? It means you need to have structures. Mm -hmm. For example, you need to release a player. Mm -hmm. What criteria do I use? Mm -hmm. Did you play 30, 40% of the games in mm -hmm. the season? Probably mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. uh, is it because you're injured? I need to have a medical record mm -hmm. uh, and, and get a basis and merit where I should release mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. So there's some of those is player transfers, mm -hmm. how do you engage in them? Mm -hmm. Is it the Kenyaji where you tell a player you come, yeah. sign up a contract? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. So above board, FIFA has rules that you need to observe. Yeah. Contracts need, the wordings need to be very careful. Mm -hmm. You need to do things according to the football laws. Mm -hmm. The game has rules. You need to follow that to the letter. Mm -hmm. You know, just how you approach a game, like at what point you get to the pitch. Mm -hmm. Some of those things need to be very, mm -hmm. very clear. Yeah. So there's the player management, mm -hmm. you have to manage your officials, you have to manage the laws, you have to manage the federation. Mm -hmm. So you need someone who can run. Who can run, things, yeah. who can run all that. And you see, uh, I like the fact that you say professionalism. Number one, I think the biggest problem in, in Kenya, if you ask me, uh, and it's a discussion I was having at my uh, the Krabi club that I support, and we were saying that Queens. Do your cover. Yes, uh, we were yeah. saying that you being a good player does not mean number one you're going to be a good coach, and number two does not mean you're going to be a good manager. Very true. And you being a good coach does not mean you're going to be an excellent manager. And, and even you being a good manager yes. does not mean you're a good player. That does not mean you're a good player. You're the worst player. You, you, you could have been the worst player. Or you, even you never played. Yeah, you, you see, never played. You, I, I keep on using... I never played football, but I've been in football for the last, what, 
15, 16 years. Yes. And you, now I play I, the game. I, I, I talk about the example I always, I always use is uh, Jose Mourinho. No one knows about his playing career, but he's one of the Very best true. coaches we've seen yeah. uh, in, in, in football. You look at the people who are leading um, uh, uh, these organizations. Ed Woodward, who's the CEO of Manchester United, he's an investment banker by profession. He's not a footballer. But like you're saying, because I realize that this as is an, an, as an economist. Yes, as in Vengo's yeah. an economist. You realize that, look, this is an organization I'm running. Therefore, I have to run it professionally, like you're saying. And I think that's the biggest mistake we have in Kenya. And we have this warped identity or, or warped thinking that you have to have played a game or you have to, you know, have coached a game. You know, that debate comes up all the time. Mm -hmm. This is an election year for FKF. Yes. Let me tell you, in the next few months. Yes. The day the dates will be announced, yeah. there'll be so many busy bodies. Yes. And you know the first thing they'll be saying, mm -hmm. well, the guys who run this game, I'm not play this game. Yeah. As as former internationals, yeah. former players. Yes. So you ask, so former players means what? Yes, what does it mean? I, I played Juala back in the day. Yes. Yes. That, that makes me a former player. Yes. You know? Yes. I stopped. Yeah. So they're like, oh yeah, you never played league football, mm -hmm. you never played for the national team. Yeah. So now a crop of guys says, okay. You don't have to have played for the national team. Yes. You needed to have played the game. Yes. So where do we fit in into all these former players? Yes. All those bitty bodies come in. Yeah. But the truth of the matter is, if you are a player, uh -huh. does not make you an administrator, just so you say it. Yes. Yes. And I think if you just recollect, mm -hmm. there used to be an issue about KNH. Yes. Where the top dog who was a doctor used yeah. to be appointed as the CEO. Yes. But the guy had no clue about administration. About money and, and running yeah. an organization. So what you need to run the organization yeah. is an administrator. Yes. He's a manager. Not a doctor. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Because the guy's in theater all the time. Yeah. Who is sending checks and what. Yes. It's about getting the people who can administrate yes. the sport. Yes. Former players have their place. Yes. Yes. They Not do. in office to sit and, and try and, and run these and, clubs. And, and run this. And, and let me tell you, and I've seen it, of course, in rugby and I'm sure it happens in all the sports, there's this argument of in our days. So when former players get into management, uh, and because there's a bit of money nowadays, that's when you now see these shady things happening, you know, because of in our days, the in, in our, our days, days argument, and the fact that they played the game, they have to compensate for the days when they didn't have money. This discussion can go on for a long time. Uh, <laughs> we, we will talk off. No, but let me just tell you quickly yes. quick about that. Yes. I stumbled on an article written in 1996. Mm -hmm. So there's a piece of it by Sami Kahame. Yes. I'm sure you know the guy. Yes. Former Kenya flag. And yes. he was so sick and tired about this thing of in our days. And yes. You know what he said? Yes. We are going to do what we need to do now. Yes. So that in future we can also talk about in our days. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love that piece. I need to send it to you. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. In our days. Quickly, as you, as, you, as you wrap up, 21st century, sports cannot purely, a sporting organization cannot purely depend on sponsorship. You have to have an, a, other revenue generating angles. Yeah. And we see it very, being run very well in the West because you look at it as a business. Yeah. Now, there are some commercial ventures. There's merchandising, there is, uh, yeah. and especially merchandising. Of course, this sponsorship has to be somewhere. There's broadcasting yeah. rights, there's yeah. gate revenues. You have to make uh, all these angles to make money. Is that in your plan, and how do you plan to That is in the plan. Yes. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Merchandising in Kenya. Yes. Please just forget about it. Yes. We are so EPL minded. Yes. Those things don't work here. Yes. But you're selling here scarves. Yeah. Or the new t shirts for the club. Yeah. Or mugs. You guys want those things for free. Yes. I mean, if you come to Hope Center and watch a game, mm -hmm. you should see the caliber of guys who come there. Yeah. You know, a guy just asking you, but I see you. So, in particular, you can come out too. Yes. 50 bob. You expect that guy to buy. A scarf uh -huh. for a G5. Yeah. It's not going to happen. It's not going to yeah. Or a replica CG for 3,000. Mm -hmm. Like these are ones for 3, 5. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Yeah. So, sports, how does it support itself? Sponsorship, people do not see the value. Mm -hmm. Corporate. Yes. Now, what you need to sell to them for them to be able to come to the sport is a advertising value equivalent. Yes. Yes. You see, so if I'm selling Sephoria's mm -hmm. and I ask you to come and brand my t shirts, mm -hmm. I don't expect that guy to sell Sufurias to make 20 million mm -hmm. to get back their money. Mm -hmm. It can't happen. Yes. I mean, how many Sufurias can guys in Kamangare buy? Yes. It will never reach 20 million. Uh, it can't reach a million. Mm -hmm. I mean, they already have Sufurias anyway. I, yes. So the thing to do is to work with the media, mm -hmm. whereby if you put in sponsorship, yes. then you work with the media so that they portray your brand. Yes. If it's a show like this, then there needs to be that association. Mm -hmm. Of Nairobi City Stars mm -hmm. and this girl sells Sufurias. Yes. 
So the space that is taken up in the media mm -hmm. or the talks in the radio, in the print, mm -hmm. you go now and use a red card. Mm -hmm. And if you get a media monitoring firm, mm -hmm. they will tell you, you put in 20 million, mm -hmm. but the presence in radio, TV, print, digital, mm -hmm. blogs, gave you a return of 100 million. Yes. Now that is how to sell to people to come and football sponsor you. To sponsor, yes. Now in football, the other way now that you can only make money around here mm -hmm. is that you start very low, get youth setups, mm -hmm. get very good talented players from around, mm -hmm. put them in a camp, get a professional coach, train them. Mm -hmm. Then you get associations mm -hmm. with clubs from across the world. Mm -hmm. Start with your Eastern Europe, mm -hmm. your smaller East European nations, get an association with a club like maybe Austria, mm -hmm. place a guy in that club, just when the guy is just about turn 18, mm -hmm. place them there, the guy stays there for a year, two years, and then they sell him on. Yeah. I'll give you the story of Sadio Mane. Uh -huh. Generation Foot is an academy in Senegal. What do these guys do? They send Sadio Mane to Mets. They reserve team. Yes. Yeah. And the guy stayed there for six months. He moved on to Mets, the main team. Mm. This is in France. Yes, France, yes. When he moved, the guy was sold to Salzburg mm -hmm. for four million euros. Yeah. And he moved from that club after two years mm -hmm. to Southampton. Yes. For guess how much? 23.5 million. Yes. And from there, he moved to Liverpool uh -huh. for 60 million. Yeah. Now, Generation Foot, how does it make money? They still make money. Um, solidarity fee, yes. 5%. Yeah. That any time Anytime the game is sold, yes. they make 5%. Yes. Now, just calculate 5% of 4 million, 4 million euros. 4 million euros, then of 23.5, 23 and then 60, 60 million, million euros. Yeah. Right now, the game is rated at 120 million euros. Yes. So if he moves, Generation Foot only just need to produce one guy yeah. in like 15 years. Yeah. And they get all the money in the world. Yes. If they just get a money, yes. that is a concept we need to adapt. Yes. We don't need to compete with the big and guys, like you say. that is our long, long term plan. That's, that's a long term that plan. We have, yeah. Okay. Patrick Corey, thank you very much for gracing at the Sports Center. It's good to see progressive people now leading sports, sporting organizations. Thank you. And I, wish you, all, and I wish you all the best. And best be sure. Thanks for the debut. <laughs> <laughs> and best be sure that uh, yeah. I'll be coming to Hope Center to watch one of your games. Please do. Very, we need very, fans. Very soon. Don't worry. And about. don't ask me from Bao. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard it from Mr. Patrick Career, the new Chief Executive Officer of Nairobi City Stars. He's doing some good stuff there. So if you guys have time and when they, they're playing their home games, make sure you make your way to the Hope, to the Hope Center, sorry, in Kangwari, to see exactly what's happening. Uh, with the Nairobi City Stars. We take a short break, but when we get back, National 1-0 will be here with Money Ref.